more a few. Uh... Okay, so you're satisfied that they're well mixed? Yep. And you know what that means? He doesn't trust you. It's your deck of cards. Uh, you can cut if you would like. You know what that means? I don't trust you. <laughs> Ten of hearts, watch, with just one finger, watch. <laughs> I want you to cover the cards with your hand. In fact, use both hands. In a moment, I'm going to ask Matt to name a number from one to seven. Whatever number he names, I'll try to identify the card that is that number up from the bottom of the pile. He says three, I'll try to identify the card third up from the bottom. If he says six, I'll try to identify the card sixth from the bottom. So, um, Matt, name a number from uh, one to four. Four. Ace of diamonds. That's what I'm getting, ace of diamonds. Would you lift your hands? Keep in mind that Matt I'm getting. Keep in mind that Matt didn't want that card. He didn't want the bottom card or the second card from the bottom or the third. He wanted the fourth from the bottom. Is that correct? And Matt, what did I say that card was? The Ace of Diamonds. Okay, so the bet is Matt's card could be in either half. <laughs> it's a 50-50 proposition, but I'm betting that it's in my half of the deck. If it's not, you get $100. Just before you check, tell me honestly, Matt, if, if your card is here, which I'm betting it is, will you be impressed? Will you be impressed? Well, you know, that's a very hurtful thing to say, Matt. <laughs> I'm working very hard here to try to entertain you. If the mac microphone didn't pick it up, he said, no way. And he used some expletive too, which I won't, <laughs> I won't repeat. All right, supposing I bet that, that your card is in my half. Okay, I'll bet $100 that Matt's card is in my hand because I do want you to be impressed, Matt. When I asked you to name any card in the entire deck, what card did you name? The Four of Hearts. Yeah.